Today is gonna to be one of the biggest and most exciting stimulus updates I have ever given, trust me. So we have first some timeline updates for the $1,400 third stimulus check. I looked into this a little bit and I found some details that are really telling as to when we can expect this payment. I think you're gonna find that really interesting. We have some unfortunate news regarding the $600 stimulus check for those expecting to receive it on their taxes. And we have some huge channel news that directly relates to the paycheck protection round two. This is, I'm not exaggerating, it's massive. So today is a great day and it's also a great day to get two free stocks with Webull with the link in my description. All you need to do is deposit $100 and you get two free stocks, you know the deal. All right, so starting off, we're gonna do bad news first and then work our way to some Great news. So the IRS announced that they're gonna begin accepting and processing individual tax returns on February 12th this year. Now, usually this happens mid to late January. And this two to three week delay is kind of a big issue because millions of stimulus payments are gonna be tied directly to 2020 tax returns. Basically anyone who hasn't received that $600 stimulus check and they're, they're not gonna receive it in the mail or by direct, direct deposit, you're gonna have to receive it on your 2020 tax return. If there's any dependent payment that's missing on your taxes, it's on your tax return. If you didn't receive the first $1,200 stimulus check, it's on your tax return and they just announced that these returns are gonna be delayed by two to three weeks. Now the IRS is saying that this is a necessary evil for a few reasons. First, they're saying this is happening because they need all sorts of new programs programming in their systems because that second stimulus check came out right at the end of the year. They weren't exactly prepared for it and they want to work out all the kinks before returns are being sent in. They're also saying that more people will file their taxes than ever before, again, likely because of the stimulus payment, because there's so many people who still need to get that payment and will have to file their taxes in order to receive it. And they're saying if they didn't delay the start date to send in tax returns, there would just be much longer delays on the back end because of glitches and technological issues. And if we know anything about the last year, the IRS has dealt with quite a few glitches and technical issues. So let's just let them work out these issues now and then hopefully, you know, I think they might be doing it right this time. Set the bar low and then just exceed the expectations. So, you know, say it's going to be delayed and then maybe pleasantly surprise everyone. Hey, that'd be that'd be an interesting way to do it. So the, the IRS is also urging everyone to file their tech, their taxes electronically this year. If you're trying to get a refund as quickly as possible, if you're if you're mailing in your refund, you can expect it to take much longer this year. But here's some timeline estimates. If you do file your taxes electronically and you haven't received that stimulus payment yet. So if you file right on the 12th of February, the first day that you'll be allowed to file electronically, you should expect your refund to be made around the 5th of March. Now the IRS is saying that nine out of 10 people will receive their refund within 21 days of filing electronically. That other one out of 10, that's gonna be someone who had an issue on their tax return. Maybe there's some clarification needed. You know, there's just something going on where they're not able to process this return 100%. So 90% of people will get it fairly quickly. And if you haven't received that stimulus payment, it'll be as a part of that. And another important thing to note here is if you expect to receive an earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit, there will actually be a little bit longer of a delay. Now this is because the IRS spends more time on the refunds with those tax credits just to make sure there's no fraud and because there's actually a tax law that says that they need to extend the deadline a little bit longer for those specific tax returns. So if that's the case for you, if you're either getting the earned income tax credit or the child tax credit, I would allot for a few additional days to process your tax return. And here's a chart that gives some key filing dates this year for your tax return and how it relates to stimulus payments. And feel free to pause the video on this if you want to take a look at it or you need some additional information. All right, moving on. I can't wait any longer. We need to do the big channel news now. As you're probably already aware, the Paycheck Protection Round 2 is starting on Tuesday, the 19th of January. And I've been covering everything I can on this. I have walkthroughs on the application. Every little update, I just wanna make sure that any independent contractor, sole proprietor, small business owner, I wanna make sure you get your slice of the funding before the big companies do. So I've literally been spending like eight to 12 hours every single day pumping out this content. Well, I'm gonna be holding two live streams on Tuesday morning. And these two live streams are gonna be held with two amazing guests that you're not gonna believe that I was able to get. 
And the first one is the CEO of Wampley, which is one of the biggest companies getting the PPP round two out to small business owners and contractors, anyone who wants it. They're letting people apply early, file electronically. I've been working closely with them and tons of you have signed up with them so far. And the second guest, his name is Bill Briggs. He is actually the head of capital access and the head of the Paycheck Protection Program at the SBA. Like literally the top guy for the Paycheck Protection Program at the SBA is going to be in my live stream. He's literally number five in charge at all of the SBA. Like if you look up SBA leadership, his name is right there at the top of the list. It's, it's insane that he's going to be on the live stream and he's going to be there. The first live stream is going to be to answer all questions for contractors, 1099 workers, um, sole proprietors who own their own business. We're going to be fielding questions and I'm going to be sending them to Bill and the CEO of Wampley to help clarify things and answer questions. And then right after that, we're just going to have a small break and we're going to do the same thing for small business owners. And this is going to be huge. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited about it. And not only is it an amazing opportunity for me, I think it's going to be so valuable for anyone who's curious about these programs because, I mean, I know how confusing they are. So I'll have the streams linked in the description of this video. And in those links, you can click on them and then click set a reminder and you'll be notified as soon as we go live. And then that way you won't have to miss the action or anything like that. And there also will be a link to Wampley where you can get your application started for the Paycheck Protection Program. And also, I just wanted to thank you for tuning in because... The reason I'm able to do this is the credibility I have by how many people tune into my regular updates and trust my information, and I really appreciate you. All right, now that we have that covered, I'm just, I'm really, you can see I'm kind of giddy about it. So let's finish off with talking about where we're at with the $1,400 stimulus check. So Biden has announced his stimulus plan, and this plan includes a tons of, tons of things. It includes $1,400 stimulus checks, which actually includes adult dependents this time, which is really interesting. And I know a lot of you are vying for that. It includes unemployment boosts of $400 the end of September, enhanced tax credits, um, an increase of the minimum wage to $15 an hour, and much, much more. There's a lot of items that are covered in that. But how and when can we expect these $1,400 stimulus checks to happen? Now, the goal for Biden and Democrats is to get this bill passed sometime in February. But I took a look at this and I do not think that this is likely to happen that quickly. And here's why. It's because Biden's unemployment plan is set to start after the current unemployment boost expires. Now, the current one expires on March 14th. Let me know if you if you see what I'm getting at here. There's a deadline of March 14th a built-in deadline. And we all know how well Congress does with deadlines. So more realistically, I think this is what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to see tons of debate between when Biden is inaugurated and March 14th. We're going to see nothing but debate. This bill is going to be changed probably by 40 or 50 percent. It will be completely different than what we're sitting at right now. And more realistically, I think we could see a bill pass sometime between March 12th, which is the Friday before the expiration of unemployment boosts, and March 19th, which would be a week after the unemployment boosts expire. And I just think this is the case because literally every single deadline this year, they have either waited till the last hour to find a solution or passed it by a week or two. So I think it's much more realistic. I know it's probably not what you want to hear, but I, I would rather set the bar low and then you'd be pleasantly surprised later. And I'm not here to lie to you or to sensationalize what's going to happen in the news. I'm here to just build a realistic picture of what I think is actually going to happen. So this scenario would leave us with checks sometime between the 2nd and the 10th of April. Now, the IRS should be pretty good at getting these payments sent out the third time around. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job this second time around, but third time around, we can expect them to be sent out in you know 10 to 15 business days to about 80 or 90 percent of everyone who expects to receive this stimulus payment. So that's my analysis of when we can likely expect these stimulus checks. I think it's pretty accurate. I mean, what are your thoughts on this? So that's going to do it for today. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.